The Rock and Roll Hall of Fame reopened today. It has been closed for 100 days because of the coronavirus. Some changes to be aware of, though. You have to get online to buy tickets for available time slots. There will be no box office, and everyone will have their temperatures checked before entering. And all staff and guests required to wear that face mask. Now, the reopening of the Rock Hall means so much more than just something else for people to do during the summer. Mm -hmm. It means one of the region's biggest economic engines back in business. News 5's John Kosick joins us live with more. John. You're never going to see Brown's game day size crowds waiting to get into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame or streets shut down like we had for the RNC or MLB All-Star Game. But don't be fooled. This place, the Rock Hall, is an economic impact annually that's bigger than any of those. 2020 started off with a bang for the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame as the iconic IMP design building was getting set to mark its 25th anniversary. We had the best January and the best February in history. And March was going great and then bam. Forced to shut down with the rest of the country for the coronavirus pandemic, a move that shut off a major source of revenue for Greater Cleveland. Consider this, the Rock Hall generates $200 million a year for the local economy. The economic impact of the RNC by comparison was $188 million. And those Rock Hall visitors are spending $349,000 a day. They book hotel rooms, they go to restaurants, they shop. Um, right now, all that is ground to a halt. We want to ramp that back up again. We want to help all the businesses in town. And that process began Sunday with the opening of the museum to about 800 health care providers and their families. And then on Monday to the general public, folks like Kenny Bullmaster. We were talking about it as we were coming up. Uh, we're just visiting family. Like 80% of visitors to the Rock Hall, Kenny's from out of state, driving up from Mississippi. Something the folks at the Rock Hall think a lot of people will be doing this summer as they look for getaways a little closer to home. I don't think we're all driving out to the Grand Canyon or to Yellowstone this summer. You can come to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. The big question mark at this point remains this year's induction ceremonies, which were moved earlier this year because of the pandemic from May to November 7th. Well, we have some time, some perspective, and we'll look into if we can really deliver in November, if we're sure the artist will come, if we're sure they're going to fill hotel rooms. But, um, but we'll announce something later this month. Now, back in the 80s, when Cleveland was bidding to land the Rock Hall, they raised eyebrows when they pledged to cover $65 million of the construction costs. That was something that other cities really were not willing to do. Well, 13 or 25 years and 13 million visitors later, the return on that $65 million investment is again $200 million annually. Live in Shaker Heights, John Kasich, News 5.